Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now I've come back on here today because I'm going to show you how we're going to stitch around this little bird. It's because you need to do some stitching on him. And you know, you've seen me on that, but I've still got that crease going through there. I'm going to have to start this. So I don't talk for too long or do the video for too long. Come on, make it go. Doesn't want to go for me. Come on. Now it is. Okay. Right out now I'm gonna put um some blue thread around there I think just a very thin uh, um line I'll show you what we're doing I'm gonna get some off here okay I can <laughs> obviously I'm I'm doing the wrong bit because it's been when I when I use it sometimes I think to roll it back around what's left over and other times I just don't do it but Obviously now I've got myself caught up with it, so I'll get it undone here in a minute. I'm not undoing the full amount of it, I guess. Why well, it's not working. That's probably long enough, so we're not going to panic about it now. Okay, something stuck to that. A little bit of, little bit of wire. Make sure we don't put that on the floor. It'll get in my feet. Okay, so this is me puffy, working on the puffy. Um, I really like it. I'm going to do some more, I hope. Well, I will get to it. I've actually started another another project. <laughs> You'd think I'd finish some, wouldn't you? I, I do get the occasional one done. Mm -hmm. I do. <laughs> Sorry about this. I'm licking in the, I'm spitting on this thing, which every time I do it, I say, it's not supposed to do that because it makes the thing get... Puffy out, it swells up the cotton when you wet it. <laughs> ah dear, but I still do it anyway, it's just a bad habit, I suppose. There we go. Right. So I've got two strands of the stranded thread because this this is actually six strands on here, but um, I've previously used a bit. And I don't know whether it's an anchor, I think, that I'm using. And as you call it, it's an embroidery floss. Yeah, it is anchor. And um, I think by the look of it, it's been around with me for a long time. There's nothing wrong with it. It's perfectly fine. Okay, so I'll just move a little... There's bits of fur back out of the way. Fur, feather. <laughs> the nice pieces. Now, I think this could be too thick. What do you reckon? Oh, no. You want to be able to see it and you want to make tiny little stitches. Tiny little stitches. Go up and down, up and down. On the edge of the birdie, okay? You want to put it just around the edge of him. And I can't see that. What have I done here? I cannot see that. Well, I don't know. Maybe I didn't take it far enough away from it. I'm going to have to move it over a bit further so we can see what's going on. Maybe they are too small. don't think that would be a thing. There we go. Now we can see them. And this is sort of, um, well, I suppose you might be sort of calling it sort of quilting him down a bit, eh? Because you're going around here with little stitches to hold on to him. It'll make it more puffy where he is. Where's this one here? It keeps getting covered over by the fluffy... Um, there's fibres here. They keep covering in the stitches on me. Not exactly going really straight on this, am I? But I think it's you're supposed to do a more um, craft look, aren't you? <laughs> you know, you want it to look nice, like if we well, have sewn it. So you want it. To, you want to be careful too, getting those bits caught up in there. That'll make a knot. Go up here. Right. Now, because we're going, we're sewing through the whole lot. So we're going to go through that back piece, so you can. Um, and I think I'd do better if I do one stitch at a time instead of trying to pick up a whole heap. And this bit is not. Oh, he's caught under there, but it'll be fine because it's got to. It's got to have some sort of. Um, texture about it, doesn't it? So I'm just going to go around him and I'm going to just do one stitch at a time here. I don't know whether I probably should have did it in white. I hope I'm not going to change my mind. I've gone that far now. I don't know. 
Maybe I should be pulling it tighter or something. Maybe it might be, look a bit better if I'm pulling it tighter. Just going to try and see if I can do that. I'm going to take it out. <laughs> oh dear, I'm so sorry. But, you know what, it's not going to like we always say, it's not going to work if it's not going to work, is it? So that's how I get <laughs> myself into these things. I, I've got to get the right thing happening and this does not look right for some reason. Maybe I need to use a white or something, a lighter colour and make the stitches different. I can't sort of I don't sort of like that. I have to take one out at a time now because I did do one back stitch, I remember. And if you do that, it's not easy to get, to get it out. Um, if I go down to the end here, I can just pull this undone this way. I'm just using the, the sort of blunt end of the, the the eye of the needle to take to lift this out to undo it. Okay. Right now, it's getting close to Christmas, isn't it, everybody? Yes. I can't sort of be thinking about that at the moment though because I've got to I've got to think about it. I've got to go now somebody asked me what exactly was it that my daughter graduated uni as and she's going to be school she's a school teacher now she's a school teacher and um that's only two weeks away till I've got to go to that that's from now to me this is a big thing because I've got to travel and I'm not good at that <laughs> um now that was too thick and gawky looking wasn't it so let's take it let's take a piece off this I suppose I should get my cotton jar and see if I can see a bit of but then I've got to find the cotton jar without causing an avalanche and I know I know where it is but it's under this thing there's stuff at the side of my table here that I had a chance to put away after the after it all fell down but that I've got a bit of it put away I don't know where that they go all the days go to it just seems to just vanish on me I'm going to start here at this part for for you so I've got one thickness of thread this time for some reason the other look too and you want to go down in the through all of it I've got a piece of thread dangling off there I must cut that off hey eh? keep it out of the road <coughs> What I was saying now. Oh yeah, I want to just put, and I'm going to actually not pull it on it so it'll break, but I want to make it um, so that you can see that it's a little bit puffy, you know. Now that's a bit of white of his body, so I shouldn't sew through that, should I? So I'm going to just go up here, this side of it down there I forgot what I was talking about oh yeah that's right somebody asked me about it now I get a lot of questions from a lot of people and I do not have I'm sorry I do get a chance to answer some but not a lot and I want to say a big thank you to everybody again for your support for subscribing to my channel and everybody that's been there with this all this time with me I really appreciate all your support and, and nice, nice comments and if you haven't subscribed to my channel you can do so please leave me a comment and it's nice if you come and watch and see what I'm making too that's a good thing <laughs> you know it's nice to come back and see what I'm doing maybe some people might not be interested in the sewing things that I do and then some people are not interested in the paper stuff that I do, in the, in the journaling stuff, things I should say, stuff, I might just put this down a bit closer so you can see what I'm doing here in a minute, I'll show you, but I'm going, I'm going to go around the edge, uh, the T is for going in closer, <laughs> then, now can you see that this is puffed down a little bit, look, see, how yeah, it's going down, and he's sitting up a bit, okay, now I'm going to put this up even like before I put the next couple of videos up because I don't want to get too far behind with this bird work. With the puffy things. I, do, I think I do want to make some more though. Definitely will make some more. I think 
That's my neighbour next door on across the road. I don't know. Could be the parcel man, but I haven't bought anything, so. This neighbourhood is very noisy sometimes. Even though I live on the outside of the town, sort of. There's only a few more streets behind me before it's, um, we're on the outside of town. Which we were nearly on the outside until they built all the houses around us. We're out here with nothing across the road or down the road and now it's all filled in with cars and cars and houses and cars and houses and traffic and, yeah, it's very busy. But we've lived here for 30 years, so I suppose it's, um, you know, that's how things go over the time, don't it? Progress or whatever you think they have. They say it's progress. Now, this little bird is looking really cool because he's sitting up there being puffy, okay? Oh, dear, I've got a knot. I'm really going to do that. And the neighbour's dogs bark at all, everything that moves. <laughs> Ah, oh, dearie me. Ah, uh, well, I suppose that's how, according to my neighbour, that's how they get their exercise. I never said nothing to her about it. I just said, oh, the dogs run up along the fence and have a good chat with one another. She said, oh, that's how they get their exercise. I thought, well, okay. And it's okay. But, um, can't go too much because it just gets really annoying after a while, doesn't it? I don't, don't let our dog do that because it's just, you know, people get in trouble over that. That man got shot and killed over his barking dog here in this town not that long ago. <coughs> he did. That's not good. His dog was barking. Oh, come on, this has got to come undone. I can't, I can't afford to have a big knot in it. Ah. Just a very slight tug. I didn't pull it up too hard because I didn't want to lose that. Okay, so now I think I need to do round again, just for, um, you know, because you want a, a little bit more um, texture, so I'm going to go around him again. I might not do the other one just for the time being, but I will do him. I'm just taking this out a little tiny bit further. Like your slow stitching, really, isn't it? It's just taking it a little bit further to um, and make. I made the stitches a tiny bit bigger, and that's okay because they're not actually. I'm pulling them up a little bit tighter, though. So if you're making something like this and you need it to be a certain size, make sure you cut it and make it a bit bigger because you'll pull in the fabric a bit as you go on. See because this will make it go a bit more quilty looking or, you know, so it'll, oh dear, I hope you can see this, I don't think you can. I'm sorry about that if I have bad, <laughs> just go up and down, no, I won't say through the other little bloke's beak, I'm going to go above his beak and leave him sitting up there too, so he's nice. See, that's pulling this up a fair way, well, I'm going to say a fair way, it's making it puffy sort of thing. See? <laughs> I can never find this camera. Because the screen's over here, at this side here, I'm aiming at the screen all the time. The camera's over this way. <laughs> the camera's here and I keep aiming over there, see? But anyway, so there's, um, I think, can you see that? Not very plain, eh? There it is. Look, there's the stitches coming up along here. Yeah. Maybe you see better off the back here. I don't know. It's easy to look at these things. Um, on YouTube, if you've got a laptop or a computer, I use um, a laptop all the time. I don't. I have a. <laughs> we actually have one of those smartphones, <laughs> but 
but um, only just you, only just getting used to how it works ourselves. So I don't think I'll be videoing on my phone. It's just I'm used to what I do, you know. Some people can good, do a really good job just using their phone. And I've got to learn one day myself. But I'm just hope I'm not pulling this too tight. I don't think I am. Because I really wanted him to have the effect of the texture around him. He looks a little bit more dimensional, doesn't he? If you put it out like that, could be a girl bird too, I don't know. Really. And I'm going to go across one stitch there. Just one stitch across. So I can continue going down this way now. I don't want to be too far, too close or too far away from that first one. I'll just pat it down a tiny bit. And look at that, he looks he's all he's all puffed up. Look at that, isn't that cool? <laughs> and I didn't even I didn't even quilt through there, but he's that's how it's going. And that's dimensional, really nice and dimensional. Now you can see on the back how how it's all puffing up there. And that's how they call him a puffy, I suppose. They're nice. These look really nice on a bag. I'd like to, I'm gonna make a bigger one and put it on a bag, I think. This is a bit small, you know, for well, it just depends what size bag you want. If you you know, because I'm a bit um I like something that's gonna hold a bottle of water, a purse, a phone, tissues. <laughs> you know, it takes the whole kitchen <laughs> the whole the whole lot with me. So um, but if you just want something to put your phone in, this would make a nice phone purse, maybe, or bag. Look at that. Oh, gee, I love how that worked. That is really awesome how that went. <laughs> so then I'm going to do the other one. Hopefully I can put a picture up on Facebook and show you what it looks like when it's finished, if I don't forget, because I tried to remember these things, but it doesn't always happen like that, does it? Okay. So that's me doing, and you can see that this side is pulled down in a bit, like it's puffing up a bit. I'll just take this out a bit wider again. This part here is coming down, it's going in. Yeah, see, look. And it, it's okay, because when I put this little, when I do that little bird, he'll be the same, all right? And maybe I might put something up there to cover over that tail. What do you reckon? I should cover his tail over? But I don't know what with. I've got no idea on that. I do have a Christmas day. <laughs> that won't look good on his tail. I'll find something that can go there directly. I'm not in a big hurry to fix that just yet because I want to sew around this one now. And, um, you know, I don't want to uh, bore you with that. But I think that looks really good, that. looks really good um, when he's stitched down. See? Really good. So thank you, and then we'll just do the same around here. So thank you, if you and maybe along that... Oh dear, I better do a bit more first. <laughs> I'm not going to go yet, eh? Just, just a bit more. I've only been on here a little while, so I'll do a bit more for you. Show you what it looks like. It's nice to see the end result on things, isn't it? Or what it's going like anyway, whether it's the end result or not. I don't have a brown in this box. I have a brown somewhere but not in this box. Where's my other box of cotton? Here we go. Because I think I'd like to put the brown in the yellow. So I've got to get some brown and yellow. Um, is that a yellow? There's a very bright one isn't he? But that's okay. It's really pretty. Um, I'm going to use one thread of that as a crochet. Uh, um, this is sort of brownish, no, there's no brown. Here, so it's a bit more brown. Okay, so I will finish this, okay? I will, and you can just, if you just want to just, you know, turn it off, well, that's all right, I don't mind. You don't want to watch all of it, and then you have the option of watching it or not. Okay, because I want to do along, I want to do the rest of it just to show you what the effect of it is. So I'm just going to get one thread off this, and... This is like an anchor or DMC or whatever thread they have now, whatever you you get wherever you live, you know. My voice seems to be getting raspy all the time. I do get like this of a morning as a rule, but I think yesterday, the other day when I went out, I got a bit more smoke inhaling than I would have liked. 
And yesterday I had a, had a bit of a sore throat, but it seems to have been a lot better today. I was going to hope there's no smoke out there tomorrow. I was thinking about going today, but I don't really want to. I want to do this instead. I'd rather sit here and do the craft, but I can't become a hermit. I've got to go out there in the world and do bits and pieces, so tomorrow's the day I'll go and get the big uh, the groceries for the, well, most of the week anyway, in case, you know, sometimes we run out of something. But I go and do that shop, and then Jeremy goes um, on the next day, and he gets things, you know, that the animals need. He gets their food because they're in bigger bags and stuff. And when I say animals, we've only got a cat and a bird and a dog. You know, that's a cat and a chook and a dog. <laughs> but, you know, you've got to look after them too. So he goes and gets that and the bottles of water and brings all them home in a taxi because I can't carry all them on my scooter. So he'll go up tomorrow and do that. Or Saturday maybe and do that. I just get the small bits and pieces. He goes and buys all the big stuff. It's enough to last only a fortnight mostly. It's, it just depends. Our cat has the toilet change every day because there's no way I'd let him, the poor thing have him longer than that. And I don't understand people who don't do that. I can't understand it. And anyway, he's been like that for his whole cat life and if he wants to go, and Jeremy usually does it, it's toilet at night time, just before we go to bed, and if we are sitting up past that time, that cat will go crook and cry until Jeremy fixes it. He don't want to go in there if there's anything in there that he's put in there through the day. So Jeremy changes it over night time for him. You'd have a turn for the worst if, you, um, if it wasn't clean for him all the time. But I think it should be. I think people, I don't understand, but some people, I suppose, can't afford to. I don't know. I just like to make sure. And Jeremy does too. He's just been keeping everything clean for him. It's sad when you see animals that are not looked after properly like that. Anyway, I don't want to get, talk about it because it makes me upset. I feel like I want to cry. <laughs> it's not good. Okay, so there I've gone across that bit. So it's all puffy. Oops, it's puffy and padded. And I'm going to just do... Well, I'll just do one row across that because that's all that's needed because I've got that pulled up really cool, that is. like that. Because it's a darker piece too, it's enough. You know, it's just, just, just right. Mum's coming along there. Uh, he went up. He went up the street. He'll be back after. Okay. Did you hear him? <laughs> He's gone up the up the street that way. It should go up. He goes up there. And he goes down there. And he comes back the other way. And he goes down the other side. And then he comes. <laughs> and then he'll come to us after that. Maybe. Oh, yesterday I got a little and I got a little um die of an envelope, and it's only this, like it's that big when you fold it up. Oh, I was so excited. I was. Cut a couple of put ones out this morning. I did. I don't believe there's a knot in this. Why not? So <laughs> there it is. Look. See. Very rarely, but sometimes you buy this stuff and it has got either a knot that you've accidentally put in it yourself, or it was probably in there from when it was bought, but. Sometimes it's actually tied together because it has to be a, a beginning and an end of things somewhere, though, doesn't there? This is not what this is, and I don't know if I can get it apart. I'm not going to muck around with it for too long. Oh, come on. One of my neighbours was here yesterday for a while. She, oh, she lives up around the corner. She was telling me some interesting stories. <laughs> I can't tell you what they are, though. So it's just a strange. There's some strange things goes on that we don't know about, eh? We just don't know what goes on around us. 
because I never mostly talk to anybody you hear about. So, yeah, it's not to ignore them, but I just don't see them. That's it, you know. So she came around yesterday because she wanted to get some dyes off me. She wants to buy a big shop machine, but we're trying, trying to find her a second hand one. It's not working out. We can't seem to find one anywhere. she'll find one. She says it might buy herself one for Christmas, so that's a good thing. I don't know what I'm... I talked about that before when I was going to have off Santa Claus, but I don't think I care. Just As long as my kids can just get along with one another just for a couple of days, it'll be fine. <laughs> Instead of looking at one another, they don't fight. They just don't want to be near one another and they just look at one another. <laughs> ah, dear. <laughs> I didn't raise them like that, but anyway, what are you going to do? My oldest one used to pick up my youngest one at school really bad and I never knew that, She never, t they never told me. So the youngest one is not keen on the oldest daughter. And I have a son from a previous marriage and my daughter doesn't like him. My youngest daughter doesn't like him, so. Oh, really? He went straight past, didn't he? He never dropped anything at anybody's place this way. Unless, he, unless that was the parcel man. Yeah, so they'll all come along. I had it last year, they were all here a different day, so that was good. But it was not easy for me having to do it, redo everything, you know, well, not for me, but mostly my husband really does all the, you know, stuff. you got to be nice if it, we were here all together one time, <laughs> a long ago. But I, I know, and, and, the, the, uh, this is not only in my household, it happens in a lot of places, people are just, you know, my kids don't, well they, they're not total, not, they drink alcohol when they go out or something and that's very rare and I don't think, and they never really drank here and so there's nothing to do with that because they don't drink, because they do fight, they're not fight either but they, it's just, you know, how it's, you know, un <laughs> <laughs> not good. They, you know, there's no, not all excited to see one another. There's all them black stares and <laughs> things goes on. Anyway, I said, I said to Jeremy, you know, I'd really wish they would, can, they could get on with one another, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. I really don't. That's sad. Well, I never got on with my sister. She was really awful to me. So what can you expect? <laughs> Things happen like this in the world, though, eh? She treated me really bad. She did. She hated me, even. It was down to that. And that was not a nice thing. Anyway. You can't make people like you, can you? That's just how the world is. It's just... She just absolutely hated me. And she told me too, many times. I didn't do anything to her. <laughs> she passed away a few years ago now. And I felt terrible about that because I never did anything to her while she was alive to make her hate me, but it was just something that she was having issues with, I suppose. I wasn't motivated by money, and I think that's what might have been her. How can I be happy? She thought, she wondered, I guess. How dare I? <laughs> yeah. Silly woman. Anyway, that's enough. I've said too much today. Please, nobody judge me. I don't think is well. I'm sure there's other people out there don't have good relationships either with their families, but then you see these ones that do and it's I feel bad sad sometimes. <laughs> I do feel sad about it. I do actually have another sister. Thank you for that neighbour. That's really kind of you. Get out there and bib thorn. I know she's gone to pick up the lady next door. I'm sure she must must do. One of them goes to they both both went swimming this morning I think. And now they're going off in the car somewhere. They usually go out for lunch today. It must be it's a bit early though. Uh, it's quarter past eleven, I suppose they're going out for lunch. Uh, 
they drive the car from their house from one side of my house to the other because they live either side of me. I was raving on about something. Sorry about that. Hope I didn't ruin your stitching viewing. <laughs> So Sue must have just drove up there and got Cheryl because they live like either side of me, like I said, and they've been to the pool. I didn't go today, but I will be going on Monday for sure because um, I've got, um, on the weekend, I'm going to make up enough videos so I can do so I can go swimming through the week. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Where am I? There you go. See? I think that looks really neat now. It's all puffy and nice, isn't it? And now I can put it onto something, and and they look, they're all built up like they're they were three dimensional. See that? Look at that. <laughs> That's cool. You know what? Who? If you wanted them to sit up better still, you make a little slit in the back here, and push more stuff in. You know, make a little slit and put some cotton wool or some toy filling, and it'll push it out further. But I don't think you need to because it's sitting up far enough now. Like it is. And you can see that one there. Look. See? Isn't that nice? Okay, so thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a go at that. Sorry about me raving on. <laughs> Probably told you all them things many times before. Oh, that's right, I have another sister. My mother adopted her out when when we were kids because she had there was four of us and she couldn't afford to have another baby and I think that's what her excuse was anyway, I don't know the true story behind that, but and then we met her, we, uh, my sister, and she's, um, because we found her when I got older, my other sister found her, and she won't, she, we did get along really well there for, 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 for years, and then one day she decided she didn't want to have nothing to do with us anymore. So I haven't seen her for many years, like probably 20 something years, 22 years maybe. That makes me sad, you know, because I, w I could have been, I could have had a sister, because the other one didn't want me either, so. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> ah, dear. <laughs> I don't think she ever forgive mum, but I, for, for adopting her out, but you know what? It wasn't my fault. <laughs> anyway, Sonia, I'm just, I, um, I have a habit of just laughing, because you can't, you know, I just can't help it. Um, when I say I'm laughing, I'm not laughing about it, I'm just trying to be, you know, <laughs> as best I can about these things. Anyway, I better go. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Oh dear, I mean, I'm telling people everything about my life, I'm sorry. I'll talk to you after. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. <laughs>